Hi, my name's Lachlan Wilmot. I'm the strength and power coach here at the GWS Giants. Contact time strong, but also landing position strong. Hi, my name's Lachlan Wilmot. I'm the strength and power coach here at the GWS Giants. And today what we're going to talk about is a little bit around the myth that plyometric training can cause injury. So one of the biggest things with plyometric training is learning how to land. And a lot of times people ruin that part of it, trying to jump ahead to get that high-end plyometric work that they see on Instagram and Twitter, but they forget the important basics. So what we're going to look at today is we're going to attempt to talk through all the active landing components of plyometric training. Katie, our athlete here, is going to take us through it and give some really good demonstrations and really hone down on those basics that we can start to work with. So, Katie, as you can see, ready to roll. We're going to do tall to short landings to start. And the most important things about these is looking for that active ankle, active footwork, making sure that we teach the athlete how to land and not just drop into a standing position. Okay, Katie, I'll get you to get yourself prepared. The most important thing about this is we're going to get the athlete to be as long as possible, as tall as possible. So Katie, get you to reach up as high as you can, up on the tippy toes, that's it, try and lose the balance. And on my mark, we're going to get her to drop into a strong base athletic position. Ready? Go! And hold, well done. So you can see with Katie as she drops down, she pulls herself into that position. She doesn't just let herself fall. Let's go again for me, Katie. So reaching up as high as we can, get that balance, keep going, keep going. Drop. Beautiful. We can see nice active ankle, we can see strong knee position, and she holds that base position. From that, we start to look at, can we challenge Katie in a different position? Most of the time, it's going to be a unilateral position. So we're going to work around Katie standing tall, and she's going to drop into the same position, this time single leg for me. So, standing tall for me, set, drop. Well done. So we can see Katie lost a little bit of balance. She's going to reset, try again. Most important thing about this is she's still going to actively pull herself down. We're going to make sure that ankle, knee and hip, nice and strong position. Here we go again, standing tall, drop. Much better, good. We're making sure that her knee is not collapsing in. It's a nice strong position over that second toe. Now we've started to work on that landing perspective and the idea is that Katie starts to get really strong in that position. We can start to say, right, she's earned the right to be able to do some concentric power work. So landing's achieved, now we're gonna move on to a little bit of concentric power. And what I mean by that is everything that's explosive in that vertical position going up, but very minimal landing, okay? So now we're gonna move on to the concentric power part. So one of the biggest issues with landing and plyometric training is that eccentric part of it, that lengthening of the tissues. So now we've started to teach Katie around the position of that lengthening and making sure that her eccentric component's good. We want to start to teach her the concentric component, but we want to make sure that we have really strong starting positions. So what we're going to start with is a squat jump. So Katie's now learnt that landing mechanics. We've talked through that active landing, getting her to pull herself into the landing instead of just letting herself fall with gravity. Once the athletes have started to learn this and they're really competent in their landing position, we can start to work on some concentric power work. So concentric power, we want to look at killing any counter movement. So we don't want that eccentric utilization. So what Katie's going to demonstrate now using the Fusion Sport Jump Mat is looking at how she can set herself in a squat jump and we can start to give her some feedback for height. So Katie, what I'll get you to do is set yourself up for a squat jump. We're going to go down, hold for a two count, then we're exploding up as high as possible using that active landing like we've just learned. Okay, so standing tall to start for me. And hands on hips, set, down, two, one, up. Well done. So Katie's got 28.8 centimetres in height there. We're going to reset, go again. So set yourself, hands on hips, down, two, one, up. Jump, jump, jump. Well done. Reset. 29.9. Fantastic. We're going to go one more, see if she can't get a little bit more height here. Starting, set, down, two, one, up. And relax. Well done. 28.8. So her best rep was her second rep. Fantastic effort, Katie. Really nice. From that, we're going to start teaching some eccentric utilisation. So we're going to get that counter movement jump involved and start to teach Katie how to absorb some eccentric loading and then drive up into a nice, nice jump. So once Katie's learnt that squat jump, that concentric power output, we're going to start looking at eccentric utilisation now. 
So let's see how Katie goes with a counter movement position, trying to use that eccentric loading. So Katie's now learnt that nice strong landing position. She's also learnt that concentric power output. Now we're going to introduce her to some eccentric utilisation with a counter movement jump. So Katie, what I'll get you to do is standing tall, nice and controlled. We're going to dip as deep as you'd like and then drive up as high as you can get. Okay, here we go. Set, on your mark. Well done. So look at 31.5. So obviously with her counter movement, she can get a little bit more height. We're going to go one more attempt, see how she goes. Set, up, and relax. Well done. 32.6, beautiful. So eccentric wise, she's got a little bit more to give there, which is fantastic. So what we've seen now and today in the overview, we've done our landing, nice strong active landing, double leg into single leg teaching the athlete to cock that toe up, making sure the ankle's tight, making sure when they drop those knees don't collapse in, making sure their glute and hip position is really strong. From that we've then taken her to a single leg position, making sure that she can maintain that posture on that single leg, less base of support. From that we then took her to concentric, so concentric power only with that squat jump, killing any eccentric movement with a nice strong vertical pulse. From that, we then moved into our eccentric positioning. So utilizing counter movement jump, making sure we we're giving her some feedback and seeing how high she can get. Make sure you tune in next week when we're gonna go through a little bit more around our contact time and how we can start to utilize the jump mat for feedback with the athletes with that eccentric utilization we started today, but now in a little bit more continuous fashion. So if you found this episode useful, make sure you subscribe to Fusion Sports YouTube channel or check them out on their website.